Welcome to another episode of Lake Placid Football Dynasty. I'm going to crack it out. All right. It's Syracuse week. Welcome to Black Lake State, and we're getting ready to take on the Orange Man of Syracuse. Hmm. Trying to remember. I think this is the fourth time we played these guys. Anyway, uh, so far, they hadn't beaten us yet, so hopefully we can keep that trend going. All right, let's flip this coin and get this game started. Oh my goodness. We're kicking off. Now here's Rex Culpepper here. Quarterback. And hey, as he goes, so goes Syracuse. So they're coming out with a nice run. Ooh, we got a nice little hit right there. And now uh, Culpepper going to toss this one out right here. Incomplete. Marking on the play. And after a punt, three downs of the punt. And now we got the ball here. We're going to throw a little pass right here. And uh, Cabo with the catch. And as you can see, we're starting off with uh, Quinn. That was uh, our freshman quarterback injured. And we're going to hand off to Charles right here. And we're going to hand off to Charles right here. Game of five. Now Quinn going to drop back here. And he's going to hit Hayden. Hayden to 15. That one goes for good yard. So, and then on the next play, Quinn gets sacked right here. And then on the following play, got about four yards here on the little screen out here to Charles. And so we go ahead and kick the field goal, and we take an early 3-0 to zero lead. Now on defense, Cole Pepper dropped back, and he throws a nice one, 32 yards uh, on that reception. And then they try to run right here, and the running back just run through our defense right there. Scott. And then Cole Pepper going to take off here. He was able to make him stumble a little bit. And then we was able to catch him in the backfield. Hmm. That was nice there by Jones, Terrence Jones. And that's the end of the first quarter. Three to zero. We're ranked number ten, and so far looking good. All right, and then Cole Pepper gonna come out, starting off, and he's gonna hit this one on the side, get a first, uh, uh, get close to the first down, on third and inches, and then we was able to catch him in the backfield on the next play. Larkin on the tackle, three tackles already by Larkin. Gary, Gary. All right, and then we throw a little, little screen here, and that's negative two. And we wind up punting after that because the uh, first and second down was both incomplete. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Nice hit right there. So now Syracuse have it coming back, and they got a nice pass right here to Stewart off on the tackle. And then uh, Cole Pepper going to hit gonna hit a uh, rally here for 24 yards. And right now we're not playing. Uh, secondary ain't playing well. And wide open in the corner. Touchdown to Butler. Kevin. Wide receiver. And whoo. Uh, <laughs> the orange is rolling. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big mm -mm. They've got to get on their toes. And so it is now. It is now uh, 10 to 3. And Syracuse is in the lead. 
So now Quinn gonna drop back here. And he's gonna stumble forward for one yard. <laughs> and then we're gonna hand out to Charles here. He's gonna get us the first down right here. Gain of six. And then Quinn gonna drop back and he's gonna hit. He's gonna hit Tanner. Gain of eight in the first down. Had to call the timeout. And then uh, we're going to give the Charles here. He's going to get cut for uh, no gain. And then Quinn's going to jump back. He's looking and he's going to hit Hayden. Gain of 22. You see that again. Wide open. Uh, I think Quinn is good enough to be a starting quarterback. But. Ooh, just when I said it, he gets sacked. But uh, our freshman is a lot better. But uh, he's going to have to get it done till our freshman is uh, ready to play again. All right, Quinn going to drop back right here. And he's going to hit a uh, camera. Gain an 18 in the first down. 29 seconds left. In the half, that is. Now Quinn is going to get sacked again. He, he, he's not as mobile. <laughs> as a uh, goal but what quarterback in the country is uh, as Hayden right there for a gain of 20 on the reception and I had to call another timeout six seconds left so we gonna go ahead and kick the field goal and it's 10 to 6 and right now Syracuse came to play when you have a great defense first of all you have high expectations we leading in uh, passing they leading in rushing oh my goodness so we're gonna come out with Charles because we it's unacceptable to have a team leading us in Russia. So he'll go to Charles right here and look at this run right here by Charles. Oh man, he's still running. Keep running, boy. Woo, 56 yards on the run. And then Charles gonna run through somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Game of 11. See, this is the one thing that we always do against Syracuse, especially around about the third quarter. We just started pounding at them and running right at them. And hey, we got a touchdown now. Great job, great job. All right, now Cole Pepper gonna come in and he's gonna hit Butler. Gain a nine. And then after they got a first down, he gonna come here and try to toss it off to the side. But hey, his defense was ready there. He was gains and company. And then we get the sack right here on Rex. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like it, me. <laughs> and now, uh, after the punt, we're going to come right back with Charles again at two. And then we're going to come right back with Charles, and he's going to dance and weave a little bit, gain a three. And shoot at the end of the third quarter as we was able to take the lead 13 to 10. And looking good. Right there with Levine scoring the touchdown there. And it's fourth quarter. We're going to hand off to Levine right here. He's going to get us the first down. And the Orange is not looking happy right now. So Quinn's going to drop back. He's going to throw this little screen out to Charles. He's going to dance in and dance out. And he's going to take it all the way for the touchdown. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Nicely done. Nicely done. And Charles is having a game. Look at this here. Look at cut inside, cut outside, gone. So he's not as fast as Lewis, but he getting the open field. We got something. And as you can see, uh, Connecticut and Vermont got a good game going so far. Early moments of the fourth quarter. You know, we love being around this defensive And as you can see, we have no sacks, no interception, no forced fumbles, no pass breakups. Come on, guys. All right, now, Cole Pepper is going to throw. Oh, 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 and he got a fumble. Hey, Joe. Joe Huff with the fumble recovery. We'll take that. Take, thank, thank you very much. Whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came. And hey. How did he get open like that? It don't matter. But, uh, why we keep... What's going on? Oh, man, they're going to... I watched they overturn it. 
Last day overturned. They overturned it. And now here comes uh, Cole Pepper. Over to a one yard game. And then on third and 11, we come with the sack. Oh! And we will take that. And that's Gibson. Do you believe Gibson came in with the sack? And make him sit down, baby. Make him sit down. Make him sit down. On fourth and 18, they're going for it. And they're able to complete it, but it's short. Very short of the first down, so we just going to come back. And with three minutes left, we just want to just just eat some clock and just pound it on them. And the Levine going to carry right there. And now they're calling timeouts. And then Quinn, what, whoa, whoa, why are we throwing? But well, he going to throw it back to Cameron. Cameron going to get a first down. Gain an eight. And another timeout. And the orange is in disbelief. And here's a big run by Charles right there. in a nice cut inside. And he's going to get 27 yards. And, then, and Syracuse uses their last time out. Now we're going to pitch a little sweep right here to Charles. With a minute 30 left. And now Quinn's going to throw. Why are we throwing? And he's going to hit Campbell here for a gain of 14. Well, y'all just do what you're going to do. We're going to give it to Charles right here. And he's just going to fight his way in. He's going to get that touchdown. He was not going to be denied. 13 seconds left. And Delaware and Villanova got a nice game going. And it looked like Vermont won, didn't it? Well, anyway, check this out on, on the kickoff. The play right here by uh, Jones. woo hoo hoo he tried to take his head off. Look at him. <laughs> Woo. Man, he tried to take his head off. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Um, head hunting. <laughs> Woo. All right. Now we're down to the last play of the game right here. And that's incomplete. And whoo, and we're still unbeaten against Syracuse. I think that's like the fourth time we don't play them in this dynasty. And hey, I will take it. Hopefully we can bounce back at the uh, big loss against uh, Boston College. So we got two in a row since then. 27 to 10. Hey, we're looking good. Not bad, Queen. 13 for 17, 180 80 yards in the touchdown. No interceptions. And Charles got 159 yards rushing. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right there. Uh, receiving Tanner with three catches. Charles with three. Aiden with three. Cameron with two, Campbell with two, uh, and uh, Cannon with a couple of uh, pancakes, and hey, Huff leading the way, and uh, Gary Larkin got him about four tackles, Gary, Gary, look at the tackle for losses, everybody try to get in on that, <laughs> and Gibson with the uh, sack, so hey, Looking good. But hey, Cole Pepper, 157 yards passing and a touchdown. And uh, he was able to keep him from uh, running at us. So, so uh, I'll take those numbers. And he pancaked us about four times. And they got a one, two, three, four, five. They got about five guys with five tackles. So a couple of tackles for losses. And hey, dominating the passing, dominating the running. I'll take it. And Hull for five tackles and Charles, the man. We're looking at some scores around the country. Wow. And now we're going to check out our conference. That's right. Yeah, American East. As you can see, 27 to 10, that's us, Maine. Beat 
Boston College, all right, 38 to 28. Putting us back in the mix, ain't they? You trying to get us back in the mix? All right, uh, Connecticut, 50 to 47 with Vermont. What a game that was. <laughs> and you man's got a win over Rhode Island, 35 to 28. That was an overtime, too. Was okay, we had two overs. We had a, a lot of overtime this year. Uh, Delaware with the win over Villanova. And Pitch Boy drops Tim. So that put Maine in first place. Uh, game lead over Boston College. And a game lead over us. And that kind of put us back in the mix. And then you got Syracuse behind us. Then uh, New Hampshire. And UMass and Rhode Island. And then you got Delaware leading. Pittsburgh. Then Vermont. Temple. Villanova, Connecticut, and Delaware State. And checking out the players of the week in the conference. UConn and UMass. <laughs> and nothing really changed. And uh, defense coordinator gained a point. Offense coordinator gained a point. Put it where we're going to put it. And they're both at 10. So, And we got some commits. Uh, outside linebacker and a free safety. All right. And that's it. A complete victory. Go take that and bring on the passion. Because we're getting ready for the main game against Maine. Until then, you have a good one. We'll catch you later. Bye.